hi welcome now I'm going to show you how to use the array count function okay what I have here is the uh, products and uh, the respective sales okay this is the product transactions and uh, so the products may repeat uh, more than once in the list and uh, the respective sales what my objective is to get uh, the uh, each individual product what is the count how many times it is repeated in the list okay so I have uh, totally how many records I have about uh, 277 records one is the header then uh, 277 records and uh, and uh, the respective sales okay in this uh, example what I need to do is I am going to get uh, the individual products here the unique uh, product list and uh, then I want the count of how many times it is repeated in the uh, full list okay for that uh, I need a master list of product uh, that one how I will get it is uh, I will get it uh, by removing the duplicates so I just uh, copy the product list and paste it here now I'm going to remove the du remove duplicates and get the master list highlight the column then go to remove duplicates once you press the remove duplicates it's come up with a warning that uh, whether you want to uh, expand the selection or you want to continue with the current selection uh, my selection is right i want to remove duplicates of only one column remove duplicates and then uh, it um, i check uh, this one as a header and uh, so the product as uh, the header product is coming here which column you want to remove the duplicate which is product column and you can see it is totally 20 25 records of uh, duplicates here uh, 25 records of unique records here so individual uh, uh, products uh, names are here now what I want is the count of uh, each individual names uh, uh, how can I do it in a simple okay now I'll get uh, how to use the simpler uh, count function to get uh, uh, total number of count for uh, Alice Martin. Okay, so how we will use it? Count if. Okay, the range is the full product range. Then the criteria is nothing but the value of Alice Martin. Okay, which is in cell D2. Okay, so this uh, 13 is the number of count for Alice Martin. This product Alice mutton is repeated 13 times in the list count is 13 okay similarly this is for a single cell but I want it for a full list of products each individual product I want to know the count so I'm using the array count if function okay count if function as uh, array formula okay so how can I do this uh, now in count if function you can see there is a range for product and the range for there is a criteria is there so what i am going to do is i am going to send this criteria also is a array okay it's a full list of master list of products so that i want for each individual element here i want the count okay so previously in count if function we just send a only one cell value but here we are going to send a range of values uh, which is like okay like this but uh, uh, if you are sending a range of values then the output is also going to be a full uh, it's a range because every single element in uh, uh, array uh, in this criteria array or criteria range it is going to check with the master uh, full list and uh, count if the condition matches the name matches then it come come up with the number of uh, values uh, matching the condition right so the count if function is going to bring for every element it is going to bring the values so the output is going to be a set of uh, set of uh, uh, values so it is not one cell it is going to be a multi-cell output 
so the result is going to be a multi cell output so you first select all the output cells now go to the first cell now you write the count if function count if then the range ranges we already discussed which is the full list of products now the criteria is also going to be a range which is all 25 products so now close the cell close the formula now close the bracket and now what happens here is uh, this is the count if function having uh, the pro uh, the the criteria range the data range as well as the criteria range uh, okay now you need to tell the excel that uh, this count if function is the array formula function i have written and expecting a set of values instead of one value okay so i already selected the cells where you can put the output okay if that is the case then uh, how you can tell if since it is an array formula you need to press control shift enter not just enter control shift enter to tell the excel it's an array formula now you see the formula is enclosed by braces so whenever you see a formula is enclosed by braces it is a array formula okay then you can also see every single here single cell here is also come up with the output okay now you check an is to set up is six times let's check an is to set up and is rep and is rep okay count is six okay so this way you can use the array uh, count if to do a set of uh, criteria club together okay instead of you are doing individual count if and uh, uh, to make every single element in the criteria to check to be checked uh, you can just use the array function and send the criteria as array and get the output okay hope this uh, video is helpful to you to understand the count if uh, uh, function before that before we close off the just to do a sum and see whether it is this number of records which is 277 which is our total number of records okay so uh, hope uh, this uh, example is helpful to you to understand the count uh, array function and uh, count if uh, array then uh, i hope uh, you can make this one as a starting point to work on with your array count if functions and uh, see you on next video kindly uh, subscribe to my channel and god bless you